Today I want to give you a poison ivy pro tip. You know, it's summertime, everything has greened up. But if you're like me, that doesn't mean that we stay out of the woods. We've still got to get out there. We've still got to prepare properties, get them ready for hunting season, move some stands, hang some new stands, bush hog paths. I mean, we're just going to be outside. We're going to do some things that we got to get done. If you're like me and 85% of the population of this country, you are allergic to poison ivy. And poison ivy, I believe I read, it's in all 50 states. Uh, there's no escape in it. There's probably some near where you live. There's probably some maybe even in your backyard. And if you work around poison ivy and, and, and you're allergic to it, it's going to result in some itching and the rash and then the blisters and things that go with it. I have been allergic to poison ivy my entire life. As a kid, I was always getting taken to uh, the doctor's office at least once a year, even until just a few years ago. I would go at least once a year to the doctor to get a uh, shot of, of the steroids to, to beat back some bad case of poison ivy that I had. My all-time favorite poison ivy story, me and my wife had just bought our first house. We lived in Kentucky and we had sort of a natural area down behind our house and uh, some things were starting to grow up in there and my wife said well i'm you know i don't want any snakes or something to get in there would you clear out the natural area so i went down there wearing shorts and a weed eater and you know what happened next about a day later i was torn up with poison ivy from from my pant from my shorts let you know kneecap all the way down to my ankles covered in poison ivy and i went to the doctor and i said is there anything you can do for uh, poison ivy and he said well, what were you doing and I said well I was weed eating and I didn't know I was weed eating poison ivy and he went to which he replied with all his medical bed bedside etiquette he replied yeah we got medicine for stupid people too and uh, he gave me a shot and I got well but if you if you struggle with poison ivy like I do I learned something about three years ago um, that really was was a game changer for me I use this stuff called tech new and it is a skin cleanser and you can tell I buy the big bottle and uh, what I do if I've been out in the woods but working on one of our Ironman properties getting ready for a retreat when I come back in either that afternoon or that evening before I get in the shower I will take this right here and liberally apply it to my forearms on both sides and I'll spend about two minutes rubbing it in and then I'll put it down on my shins and my ankles uh, the lower part of my leg and I will spend like I said about two minutes rubbing it in on all you know two arms and two legs and then I'll hop in the shower and rinse it off with good soapy water and a, and a washcloth. The poison ivy oils they say are think about you've been changing the oil in your car or your truck and you've got that that stuff all over you and you got some gojo or something like that and you've got to really kind of scrub your hands to get that oil off of there same kind of thing with poison ivy to get the oil off your skin you've really got to have uh, a cleanser and you've got to have a lot of scrubbing since i have started using tech new and i'm not endorsed or sponsored in any way but since i have started using this three years ago i have not had a single case of poison ivy but, I, but you got to take it with you. And, you know, when I travel to Alabama or wherever uh, to, to work on a piece of property, I've always packed this in my suitcase with me and I'm going to use it at the end of the day. Obviously, the sooner you get you, obviously, the sooner you get it cleansed and get off your skin and the sooner you're able to get a shower, the better. Um, but I've gone all day and, you know, seven o'clock that evening, whenever we come in from working, uh, use this before you hop in the shower. And it really makes a huge, huge difference. Now, you and I have another problem that, and, and all humans have this, we have the problem of sin. And sin is like a stain that we are, that is on us that we, heart, we can't get off. And the only way we can get that off and the only way we can be cleansed of our sins is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells us in 1 John 1, 9, if you will confess those sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of those sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. 
So you got a poison ivy problem, you cleanse with this. You got a sin problem, you cleanse with Jesus Christ. And maybe you got a, a, a buddy who holds you accountable, which we highly recommend uh, with our ministry. Go and confess the sins to that guy. Say, hey man, this is what I've done. And man, I really blew it in this area of my life. And then 1 John 1, 9, not Patrick, but the Bible tells you that Jesus will forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. But that is the only cleanser that works with the sin problem is Jesus Christ. So thank you for watching Iron Man Outdoors and stay, stay out of the poison ivy if you can help it, but use this if you, if you have to have cleansing and stay away from sin. But remember, you got Jesus Christ that can cleanse you from that.